Hello everyone, it's your man, Evangelist Richard Lane. I hope you're doing well. Have you heard this before? We the people. We the people is the very first sentence of the United States Constitution. It says, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. That was ratified in, eight, in 1788. It was written in 1787. I guess you say, why do we have Juneteenth? Well, guess what? At the time that the constitution was ratified, my ancestors had no rights. They had none whatsoever. There was no provision for a common defense. There was no promotion of general welfare. There was no lib life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for people that had been enslaved. And then when President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation on January, and it went into effect January 1st, 1865, guess what? It took two years. It wasn't until June 19th of 1867 that the Union soldiers finally reached Galveston Bay of Texas and freed and told 220,000 slaves that they had been freed, that they had been freed two years prior. That's part of our history. That's part of the American history. That is part of the United States of America. If we are all one person, if all lives matter, if we all come together as one people under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all people, no matter what race, creed, color, or religion we are. That's why we celebrate this day, Juneteenth. It's not just for African Americans, it's for everyone in the United States of America. If you didn't know, now you know. Peace.